Hi guys. Well, I can't remember if I've already said this in a previous video, so I'll explain it again, just in case. Last night, I was just potting around in this lounge like I do every night. I can't remember what I was doing exactly. Actually, I think I'd just been finishing that off. I heard some footsteps out here, so because of um, the thefts I've had from outside and the other sort of things I've seen out here, I do get a bit weary, especially at sort of 12.30 at night, which is when this was, thereabouts, 12.30, 12.40, somewhere around there. Anyway, I've noticed a couple of young lads come through here. One was on a BMX and one was walking. The one that was walking was um, carrying something down his left side, and he was, looked like he was actually struggling with it a little bit. But uh, obviously, I couldn't see what it was. There is a floodlight on the side of this of that building over there, but it's not working at the minute, conveniently. So couldn't see anything. Didn't think nothing of it, but I did mention on the um, council. Facebook group about the floodlight not working, and then someone decided to um, be sarcastic and uh, turn around and say, who do we call in, a, in the event of a fire, Instagram or, what was it, Instagram or Twitter, I'm sort of thinking, yeah, ha ha, funny, but if anything happened, you know, I couldn't see anyone, because, um, I've seen literally all sorts since I've lived here. I've lived in this flat six years, as I've probably said numerous times now. And uh, as I've already said, I've had bikes stolen from straight out front down there. I've seen people plank on that little porch right there, when planking was all the fad. I've seen argu arguing drunks come in here. I've even seen lads fight. I've seen people take a piss in the uh, little cycle shelter there and up in this corner. Hang on, up in this corner. Um, I've seen, you know, random cars just park up along this wall at night. I've seen cars come in and turn around. I've Pretty much if you name it, I've seen them. I've seen young ladies come walking through here late at night a little bit drunk, you know, crying their eyes out because I've probably had a bloody argument with the boyfriend or something, the best friend. <laughs> I've seen girls going at it out here. <coughs> I mean, fighting. Not anything sexual, you dirty-minded lot. Although that would have been more interesting. <coughs> anyway. <laughs> I've seen all sorts. So the floodlight is a great help. I've never rung the police since I've been here. Apart from someone that was actually trying to break into the building over there. It's the one and only time, but unless I see anything, or anyone doing anything significant, then there's no point. Or I never think there's any point in calling the police anyway. But, it turns out that last night, the um, public toilets in town, or one set of them, um, were vandalised. Apparently. Now, I did go past this toilet block earlier today. I've actually been past it twice. And um, I did notice that there was a police car parked beside them. But apparently the um, forensics team has been there as well for most of the day. In fact, we had a police car parked on here for most of the day as well. So it might, might be related to these two lads. It might not. Who knows? But um, even if I told the police about it, I couldn't really give them any significant detail because I couldn't bloody see. It's too dark over here. Because all there is is some stupid little standard bulkhead outside lights in this green building here. Two on this side and one round the corner. And that orange, um, a standard um, street light type light on the corner of the um, council office building over there. Oh, and... Uh, light on the wall on this corner 
down here somewhere. That is it. And that light on this corner points straight down. So it doesn't you know, most of the centre of this car park is in the bloody dark. So anyone walking through here I can't see. Anyway. That was the main thing I wanted to mention. <laughs> While I thought of it, because otherwise I'd forget. Anyway. I've um, I decided to put the seat back on the bike. To see if I could get the seat post though. And uh, I did, thankfully. Because um, I've actually noticed with a lot of bikes that tend to sit outside in all weathers. If you're unlucky, then the seat post will seize into the frame. Now, there are ways you can get them out. You can try WD-40 or something similar. Um, squirted in around the top there. WD-40 is probably better because it seeps down in tighter gaps a lot better than anything else would. Um, but I actually find the worst is when you've got a steel frame like this and an aluminium seat post. Once they corrode in there, you'll never get them out. I don't know what it is, but when you mix an aluminium part with a steel part like that, you get that funny corrosion happen. And <laughs> you'll never get them off. Once that's happened, you'll never get it off. Not without extreme brute force. I and mean, I've had it happen on cranks, and I just use brute force with a heavy hammer. <coughs> But uh, with seat posts, I've never had success in getting an aluminium seat post out of a steel frame once they've seized in. But uh, so I thought I'd give that a go because if the seat post was seized in, I wouldn't have bothered with the frame at all because it's not worth doing if you can't get the seat post out because everybody wants a you know a seat they can adjust height wise. So um, yep, that's a bonus. I've just got to, uh, I think someone's actually painted the stem black from the look of it, because this is all black around here. But then you've got a chrome bit on the top here. So either someone's used chrome paint on the top there, and it was actually a black stem, and they were actually looking at this bit down there. I would actually say that was a chrome stem that someone's painted black at some point. In that case, I'll probably leave that in there then and just change your handlebar. I've got a feeling, because the cables have, the gear cables have seized on this at least, I'll probably end up changing the grip shifts. I know I've seen like RJ the bike guy change gear cables on these cheapy gear shifters, but they're not worth it really, not them cheapy ones. You might as well take them off and put something better on. Um, you can pick them up a pair of them quite cheap nowadays anyway so if you've got cheap grip shifts on like that it's just my opinion you know if you because it's not really that easy and actually some of these cheap ones you can't really change the cables on anyway because once you've got the damn grip shifts apart they're a pain in the ass to get back together so uh, personally I never bother if, I've, if the cables are gone then I change the grip shifts but, uh, I could just put ordinary gear levers on that if I really wanted to. You get old fashioned gear levers. Anyway, this is my old set Windows 7 rig. Not my old one, my um, new one, my spare one. Um, I've had it plugged in because I wanted to see if um, it would pick up on that Windows 10 reserve thing, but I don't know if that's too late for that or what but um i thought i'd turn it on and update everything as well because i don't you know it's not one that i actively use it is literally just a spare machine and just in case anything does go wrong with my main one and i can't fix it straight away um but really the only thing that can go on my main one that would prevent me from fixing it pretty much straight away would be the motherboard and memory and processor because I do not have any of them spares for that but uh, for 
something like the hard drive or the power pack or the video card or whatever, then yeah, I can fix all that. That's not a problem. But, uh, I, can't even, I think it's a Foxconn motherboard I've got in there. So I do have faith in it. Touch wood. <laughs> I don't want to talk that up right now. Not when I'm this close. Someone just said, you know, can't blame the youth for the vandalism because we don't know, which is absolutely true. I mean, them two lads that walked through here could be completely innocent. Sort of like um, in the wrong place at the wrong time sort of thing. Who knows? Well, it could just be a complete coincidence, but you got to admit, it does sound a little bit weird. They just happened to be around here when the toilets got vandalised. Looking rather suspicious. Well, actually, they weren't walking across there suspiciously, but it's just the object they were carrying that made me suspicious more than anything. Because, um, well, what other, why would anyone be out at that time of night carrying some sort of long, heavy object down their left side, you know? But again, could be completely innocent. We don't know. I'm going to let the police investigate that one, so I'm not going to... As this lady on here has commented, I'm not going to jump the gun and start blaming this, that and the other. Or this person or that person. We'll just wait. Anyway. <laughs> that guy that just walked past might have just caught his head. He, um often walks through here and he's usually drunk most of the time or he is nearly every time I see him I'm not going to say he's an alcoholic because I don't know what he does you know I can't tell if he drinks day in day out but nearly every time I see him he's drunk anyway hmm I don't think we'll be doing a car boot tomorrow unless this weather clears. Which is an ass. Because we really couldn't do with one. <laughs> but then again, it's not an ass because I could then sit at home and uh, or sit here and do some bikes. I could do them up here if it's raining, but I don't want to because. Knowing me, I'm going to drop things on this floor. It's got a lump on the floor, and then that'll upset the, uh, my neighbours below me, and I don't really want to do that. I might need to put a new front dryer on that. Anyway, my battery's about to die, so I'm going to end the video now before they do die. So uh, thanks for watching. Probably the shortest vlog I've done for a long while. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon.